I want to get to the CME, Rick Santelli with a Wednesday edition of the Santelli Exchange. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Carl. Yesterday, we talked about how the public was getting tagged again, being on the hook as the guarantor of various ways to guarantee monies above and beyond the 250000 that we see from the government for your accounts at banks, for private corporations and municipalities. Today, extra credit project. Anybody who has students out there understands sometimes when your grade just isn't cutting the mustard, the teacher says extra credit project. That's not the kind of extra credit I'm talking about. I'm talking about an article that was written by Kelly Evans, our own at CNBC on CNBC.com, talking about how student loans, you know, student credit is now at a delinquency rate higher than all other forms of credit. Let's show the chart. It surpassed credit card debt, which is around a delinquency rate of 10.5%. By the end of September, it's 11%, crowding out all others. Who's on the hook? Once again, just like yesterday, you are. You're on the hook. This, like health care, was taken over by the government. And I'm sure it's a whole lot easier when all the chips are on one board to ease some of these issues for students. Now, not that there's anything wrong with it, but once again, you don't get to eat the meal, but you may end up getting the bill. The Volt. I love Phil LeBeau. Mark Haynes used to call him four on the floor LeBeau. He's at the L.A. Auto Show. A lot of GM talk. A lot of talk about the Volt. You know, when I was young, when there was a great car, there were lines. You wanted to get a GTO? It took months to get it. Or when you wanted to get these new Camaros, it took months to get it. Where's the line for a Volt? There is no line. And if it wasn't 500 million shares of public money in there, I don't think they'd be making it. Think about that.